18.6 grams at the moment. Okay, so weighed out, and then I got my little tamp pad here. So 39 grams of espresso, and that should finish pouring at around 25 seconds. Usually it's tasting pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying to think of a logo for our business and it was kind of like a joke. We had the mustache for a little while. I drew it on paper. I was like, yeah, actually, this could maybe work. But actually, I've had people mad at me that I've shaved the mustache. <laughs> My name is Andrew Tai. Um, I am the owner of Fruit Peddler. Uh, we are a coffee catering um, company. Um, I built a mobile espresso bar. We can wheel it around, plug into a wall, um, serve a craft coffee service. But the main um, part of our business is the catering aspect of it. Uh, so this year we have a decent amount of weddings on the books. A couple weeks ago we did a hair salon grand opening. We've done a number of teacher appreciation days, graduation parties. Um, the farmer's markets um, are awesome, largely for exposure, but also um, I just generally enjoy that environment, especially having a culinary background. My favorite order, probably cortado. It's like a cappuccino, but just a little bit less milk to espresso, so it's a little bit stronger milk and espresso drink. Or just espresso. If I can trust the people making the coffee, I will order espresso. That's my favorite order. <laughs> but it's really tough to get that right. It's a whole process to get espresso uh, poured well, so. Me and my wife, Elizabeth Ty, our dream has always been a cafe. So our backgrounds are actually in the culinary industry. We go back quite a ways. Um, I went to culinary school in Napa Valley. Uh, she got a job at a place called Bouchon Bakery, probably the most renowned bakery in America. <laughs> um, we kind of moved around city to city. We were uh, in Seattle for a little bit. I worked at a place called Altura. Coffee's always been a huge passion of ours. So this brew peddler is one, it's a dream to be able to bring the cafe to people, to bring that um, connection for uh, people to their business office or to uh, their establishment, uh, their wedding, whatever it is. You know, we can bring that the cafe setting to them for now until we are able to establish a cafe of our own. Our coffee cart, uh, we have a Lamar Zoco GS3 on there, uh, which is a pretty cool. It's a single group head um, espresso machine that runs off of 120 volt. The idea is so that I can roll up into a, an office or somewhere and just plug into the wall and run an espresso service. It's all manual, so it's all, in, you can actually see on here, it has the, the pressure um, that goes so you can get a nice pre-infusion like starting slow and then all the way up to uh, your standard nine bars of uh, pressures to keep your espresso consistent. Another reason I chose this machine is because the steam tanks uh, larger than your other single group head machines so it'll keep up with service with back-to-back -back steaming. Um, the grinder is a standard uh, a macabre grinder. It was quite a challenge to get everything to fit in here but we actually got a refrigerator here. It's a flow jet pump. It gives pressure to an espresso machine and, and then we cargo net it for transport so nothing falls out. <laughs> then a trailer. Okay. Well, actually this trailer. Is that trailer right there? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So the ramp pulls down. Uh, it's got a winch that pulls it in and a little pitcher sprayer right here. This thing is key for service. Actually, the invisible hinge is pretty cool. 
it'll fold over so that if I need to fit into a standard elevator, you have that eye bolt's where the winch hooks into. Uh, so this is our year uh, one. So year one in May. You know, I think it's a great spot to um, start a small business, especially recently coming from the west side. Kind of long story short, we feel like Spokane could be a very great place for us to establish our business here and have a good family life and, and everything. 